what's up guys my name is Avery and I wanted to show you a game that I've just made the other day so for those of you that don't know there's another youtuber out there his name is Danny and he does a lot of challenges where he decides to challenge himself to make a game within a line limit and stuff like that and he just came out this month I believe a game that he made within an hour and this game is kind of a flappy bird knockoff and he made it with the unity game engine which is I think he uses for all his videos and basically how the game works, so there's a little spaceship, he flies around, and there's randomly generated triangles that change colors throughout the time, and you set up all these particles and effects and glow and whatnot, and he did this all within one hour in the Unity game engine. And I decided, after seeing a different video that I'm about to show you, that I decided to challenge myself to do the same thing. But one extra thing he did also is his game, he ported it to Android, so I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description for his video and also the app on the Android Play Store see if you guys want to check it out yourselves. So this other YouTuber out here, The Churnal, you guys definitely have heard of him. He does a lot of things like in my videos, but they're a lot better. He's been doing it for a lot longer. He does a lot of tutorial series for programming. He saw Danny's video and he decided to challenge himself to do the same thing in his own game engine that he's been making recently called the Hazel Engine. Um, I'll go ahead and link everything here in the description below so you guys can check out all these videos and all this stuff below. But uh, yeah, he decided to challenge himself to do this within one hour. And within one hour, he was able to actually get this done. It's the ship flying around, and it's in white triangles. There's no effects or anything, but the ship's able to fly around within randomly generated triangles with collision. So it's actually pretty good because his engine's not done or anything, and so that's just something he's been working on. And he decided to challenge himself to actually see how long it would take him to finish it. And he said it with around two and a half hours he was able to finish the game the exact same way that Danny had it. He has the particles, the glowing triangles, and a couple of extra uh, small effects. And it, the game actually turned out pretty well. So you guys can check it out right here quickly and once again the, the link in the description below. So I actually started my own game engine a while back that I kind of stopped on but I decided I want to jump into it and try using it to make this exact same game and see how powerful it is and how useful it is to see how long it would take for myself. Now this game engine, I'll have the repository from GitHub in the description as well. It's called ArchGeo. I'm kind of stopped on it. I haven't worked on it that well that much, but I just wanted to try it out for this video. And the terminal, he actually listed out everything that Dandy did in his video, all the mechanics and everything the game. So he made it a lot easier for me so I can make my own list for what needs to be in the game. The game needs to have a player with a Flappy Bird style movement needs to have randomly generated triangles and the triangles actually end up going up and down too or they have some sort of movement and they have a glow effect and they have changing colors and it also needs to display the score and the journal he never ended up doing it but Danny's video had music and sound effects the spaceship as well had fire and smoke particles that came out of it so I decided to take this whole list and see how long it would take me in my own game engine to build it myself <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys what I got done within the first hour. Um, like the journal's video, within the first hour I was able to get the player movement done, the randomly generated triangles for the map and the game loop and their collision. And it's basically what I got done the first hour. And I'll quickly show you that right here. setting up the collision for the triangles just to check it out and then right afterwards I'll show you what the game ended up looking like this is the game uh, map generation I don't think it's the exact same style as the journals or Danny's as you can see it's kind of repetitive right here but it does move around you'll see later on that it's more random but the spaceship flies around and there's the randomly generated triangles <laughs> Within two hours, I got the score system set up, so it keeps track of how many triangles you fly through. It has smoke particles, and it was able to have um, well the flame particle as well, and also the glow and the triangle at dynamically changing colors. And in case you guys wanted to see, this is kind of how I did the changing colors. I don't know if it's the best way or if it's the only way, but I just set up the four colors and I just had it so it slowly loop to screen all four of them and so if you guys want to check that out that's how I did it 
in my screen recorder at this moment it kind of glitched out but this is how the game ended up looking like within the first two hours <laughs> So I decided to add some extra stuff just for the fun of it. I had some background particles. I set up a handicap system that keeps track of how many times you die and it kind of over time makes it easier for you. I made it so you start off with a shield. So if you hit one of the triangles, you get an extra life. And then I said hyperdrive. It's basically, it has a regular camera view. And then after some time it switches to a fast camera view. And then before it switches back to the regular camera view, it has a sort of speed up moment where you fly across the screen and then it goes back to the regular one. So some things I actually wasn't able to get done was the music and the sound effect, mainly because I don't really know too much about it. I tried some programs for sound effects and making them, but I'm not that great at it. So I decided just to leave that um, for now and maybe I'll get back to that later. But yeah, thank you guys for watching so much. Uh, once again, my name is Avery Reed. This is my channel. I have a lot of videos out there. They're kind of random, random some of them, but they're programming and game related videos. So if you like the video, go ahead and leave a like and leave a comment if you had any sort of question. And if you guys enjoyed it enough, you can check out the other videos. You can go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Um, one tutorial series that I'm doing right now, I've been doing it for a while. I'm kind of slow on it because I've had some problems recently, but we're making this game in C++ and SDL2. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and you guys can watch the first, first of the episodes. And by the time you guys are done with that, I'll probably have another video up soon. I also wanted to show you guys just some stuff that I'm working on, on my own. Uh, two or three days ago, my friend and I started working on this zombie shooter game, which is like a side-scroller game. Um, the art assets for now, we just pulled out from HIO or Open Game Art or something like that, but we're only working on that. And if you guys are interested, I can keep you updated. Also, a different thing that I'm working on, it's sort of a Vulcan wrapper, where it's the Vulcan 3D engine, and we're, I'm just making so it simplifies it to use it in the yeah use the SDK in C++. But yeah, thank you guys for watching so much. And once again, leave a like if you'd like to and subscribe if you guys are new and see you guys next time. Bye.